Hello, in this video I want to talk about roughness. So roughness is a huge um, parameter in most of your materials. This is where you really want to dial it in when you're looking at reference. Um, so roughness is the simulation of microscopic kind of bumps on your object. So the object that has, if I set it to all the way zero, that means it becomes like almost like a mirror. See that I can see my environment in my scene like this. It becomes super glossy, like there's a layer of glass over the whole thing. And then if I bring it up, you can slowly get up. See how the, the reflection is getting um, it's getting lost and it's become coming more blurred that's because it's it's simulating the bump the microscopic bump and the more I put it you see how that highlight just kind of disappears um, because it's so rough it's spreading that light is spreading all the way across um, evenly something like this so you can play around that and get it um, an understanding of that so a roughness of one is a not shiny object a roughness of zero is a completely smooth object um, so um, with that in mind uh, there's something I wanted to go over about maps so let me take this map and I'm gonna put it in the base color and I'm just gonna bring up the tiling so you can understand it a little better. In most situations, um, in in um, 3D applications, white means on, completely on, on whatever parameter you're applying this texture to, and black is off or zero. So white is um, one and black is zero, and everything in between is um either completely it's it's a blend between those two so i'm going to go down here and let's put that that setting um that this map into roughness i'm just gonna put that in here and you can kind of see so you'll notice that the black areas are super reflective but my environment is not being affected at all in the white areas. So hopefully that helps explain what's happening here. We can even just let's bring in this other thing. Roughness. I'll put that in oh, the base color. So you'll see it's the shiniest on the black and then it steadily gets less and less shiny and more rough. So hopefully you get that. That's a really important principle to understand. Um, black is off, white is one, and then there's a blend between those, between them. Um, so I'm gonna turn that off, turn that off. Let me just get rid of this. Um, let's get back to our wood. So thinking about that, right now this has a roughness, a consistent roughness over the whole thing. It's not a completely, if I go to all the way down, it's a completely what uh, completely rough thing or completely um, shiny thing with a bump on it. So this would be something like if it was wet, you'd get something like this kind of look, but most things have a little bit of roughness, even if it's wet. Um, and so um, instead of just like putting in a number that is affecting everything, we want variation. So variation really sells something to being real, realistic, and makes things look more appealing. So let's go back and find, let me go to your assets and find that wood. Okay, I had to pause it for a second to find it. Um, then I'm gonna drag and drop that into the roughness. And you'll see right now, this is where the, the um, holding down shift and right click and dragging left and right, where you can really start diagnosing what's gonna be happening in your material.
material. Um, you'll see that in the cavities, it is getting brighter. Um, and then the outside parts are more rough. Um, generally, I would think that the in the inside the cracks would gather more dirt, so that would be more rough. And then the um, stuff, the bumping out parts would be a little bit shinier. So let's click on this and let's look at the roughness. So this is what it looks like. So I think what I'll need to do is just play around with my levels. So I'm going to go back to my material and then dialed in. I'm going to go in and create, oops, I'm going to go over here, create another levels. And then instead of base color, I'm going to go to roughness and then play around with that. So I want it, oh wait, we want that to be inverted. So we can do that with this by clicking on that. That will invert the effect. So now my shiniest parts are the outside parts. So if I look at this like this, it's getting fairly close might be too shiny so I can just play around with the settings okay it's getting close so it's starting to feel more real so that's probably a good base for roughness um, then let's go back and look at these other settings so metallic will make something metal so if I bring that all the way up You'll see it kind of looks metallic. Um, we're not going to add metal to the wood, so that we're not going to do anything. And then bump, I would just leave um, because what you do in your height, um, they apply that to a normal map too. So if I go like this, you'll see that the height now is affecting the normal map. Let's go back to material. And then this also, um, feel free to jump around so you're like oh that looks good but now my displacement isn't really popping as much as I wanted it to be so then we can do different things we can even bring up the scale of stuff zero zero five oops so there's a constant back and forth kind of thing going on so there it looks a bit more chunkier um, maybe that's too much. Yeah, something like this. And that feels more natural looking. Alright, so hopefully that's helpful. Um, I'll see you in the next video.